Hey guys, I thought I'd just throw together a real quick uh, information pack almost on the basic weapon mechanics of Proving Grounds for new players coming into the game who probably don't know what to expect. We'll start off with the M9 pistol. The bleeds aren't exact because I was too lazy to actually calculate them properly, but apart from that it should be okay. The legs, which goes from the feet to the upper thighs, does 12 instant and around about 12 bleed. The lower torso does 17 instant and around 17 bleed. The upper torso and the arms do 20 instant and around about 12 bleed, and the headshot is a one hit kill. Moving on to the M4 and the M249 which have the same damage models. The legs do 14 instant for around 14 bleed, lower torso does 19 instant for around 19 bleed, the upper torso and arms do 23 instant for about 14 bleed, and the headshot is a one hit kill again. And now the EBR. Legs do 31 instant for around 31 bleed, the lower torso does 43 instant for around 43 bleed, the upper torso and arms do 51 instant for around 31 bleed, and headshot is a one hit kill. Now I didn't do shotguns because I couldn't work out the pellet count, and without the pellet count it makes it difficult to figure out how much damage each pellet does to what body part. Um, as a general rule of thumb though, if you shoot them in the upper chest from under 10 meters, you're pretty much guaranteed to kill. Now moving on to the recoil. It's pretty similar to the recoil in Battlefield 3, except with a few minor differences, those being that there's no ceiling, so as long as you still have bullets, it'll just keep on going, and your aim doesn't reset after you've finished shooting, so it'll just sit wherever you left it. There is a random deviation with recoil to the up and right after every shot. The difference is pretty small really, but it's there, so don't expect to put all of your bullets in the same hole when mag dumping at any range. Moving on to grenades now. A quick reminder with frag grenades, if you're cooking it and you get shot, it'll fall to the floor. This can be pretty useful if you want to kill whoever's about to kill you and you know you're going to die. Or it can also be a pretty big annoyance to your teammates if you go to cook a grenade and get shot right next to them. So just keep in mind what's around you when you're cooking a grenade. Another real quick heads up, don't overcook fog grenades because if you let it go off in your hand, you'll die. Smoke grenades last around 45 seconds. They fade in over the course of about 5 seconds and fade out in around 3. This gives about 37 seconds of pretty broad and thick smoke cover. Compare these to fog grenades, which only last around a third of the time at 15 seconds. They have no fade in time, they're up straight away, and they fade out in around 3 seconds the same as the smoke grenades. Now they only have about 75% of the coverage that the smoke grenades do, so it's a real toss up between whether you want the smoke now or you want a bit more duration and size in your smoke. Now I've lost my footage of it, but flash grenades work like they do in CS, and if you look away, you'll only get a half flash, so it's worth looking away. Now I don't think I've left anything else out, but hopefully this will help a few of you who have just started to get into Proving Grounds, maybe get a little bit more used to the weapon mechanics.